Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy Zither here and I am back at it again to drop What if Naruto had half hot, half cold? Now, before I start the video, I just have to say one thing. So, tell me why I go onto my analytics and I, you know, I just click around, you know, I go over to my revenue, my, 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 you know, my sub count. And then I notice that like 30% of the people that watch my channel are subscribed. And it's like, so it's like that. So guys, if you guys haven't subscribed already, then, you know, maybe consider subscribing if you end up liking this video and also make sure to hit that like button if you go on to enjoy the video with that being said though guys this video is going to be a sponsored one as well as a collab with my boy archimedes eisen so if you guys go on to enjoy the video then it'd be it'd be pretty appreciated if you guys were to go down below into the description and you know go check out his channel seeing as he does his own videos on there he has 2,000 subscribers as of now i'm pretty sure and so you know i think it'd be pretty cool if we can help him get to about 3,000. so with that being said guys Let's get right into the what if. Alright, so like any other Naruto what if, we're going to be starting off our story on the day of Naruto's birth. Now you guys may be wondering, dude, there's nothing that's going to change here, and you're right. The only real change that's going to be happening to this night is Naruto's appearance. In this version of events, Naruto's going to be having half red hair and half white white hair, like kind, yeah, half, half red, half white. So it's not going to be, I was about to say that maybe he had like a tint of yellow in there, but that that's not that's not it man that's not it i really thought about it and then it just didn't work man so his hair was half white and half red and so he's basically going to be looking like todoroki now you guys are probably like yo but he's not even todoroki's reincarnation and you're right he's not however however todoroki do be looking good though so you know that's kind of the only reason that i'm doing that that, that also means that naruto doesn't have the whiskers and that's kind of the only real changes that happen on this night so obviously like in canon minato saves naruto he ends up basically performing the reaper death seal with the nine tail sealing half of the jinchuriki within naruto and afterwards he pretty much ends up just resting in peace um he's put on a t-shirt by kurama and himself and then kushina well, you know, she's put on a t-shirt as well. So, afterwards, Naruto pretty much gets adopted by Hiruzen, just like in canon, because, you know, Hiruzen did promise that he was going to be looking after Naruto. And so, Naruto would go on to live a pretty normal life until he's about at the age of four years old. Because it's at this point that Hiruzen would pretty much kick Naruto to the curb and just be like, Alright, bro, uh, I said bro. No, but he would basically just look at Naruto as he would say, Naruto, you're getting older. I think it's time that you go live on your own. And he pretty much proceeds to give him a spoiled milk and ramen to live off of and a couple of blankets here and there giving him his own apartment and rent money from the age of four years old that's heartless right there man like how you gonna be hokage and like screw over the uchiha screw over naruto and literally everybody who you've ever come in contact with like that's just tragic here's this low-key a curse but you know tangent side so yeah, after Naruto ends up uh, getting kicked out of, you know, the Hokage monument or the, the little mansion that he used to live in, he would basically have to get adjusted to his new house. And so when he would do this, the first couple of months that he would, it was pretty hard for him because Naruto is, as I said, four years old. Hiruzen did teach him about manners and all that stuff. And so Naruto's not going to be like rambunctious as much. And, you know, Naruto does kind of take into heart some of those lessons that Hiruzen ended up teaching him. However, he does have a little bit of a hatred towards Hiruzen because he thought that Hiruzen was always going to be there to raise Naruto. Maybe someday he was finally going to begin to train him just like he trains Asuma, his son. Because at this point, Naruto felt as if he was truly part of the Sarutobi family, but I guess not because he was kicked to the curb as soon as he turned four years old. A couple of months would pass, and this is when people would finally find out about Naruto being the Nine Tails in Cherokee. People would finally start treating Naruto wrong, and pretty much just kicking him out of stores where Naruto wouldn't even be able to go buy himself some groceries. Because even the people who sold that stuff would always just throw the food at Naruto, just being like, Get out of here, you Nine Tail demon! As you know, they're like, My son died because of you, you know what I mean? They're blaming Naruto because of something that he didn't cause. And so, we would then basically just have 
him like getting treated wrong for like the next couple of months and it's at this point that naruto would be about like four four and three fourths of the way before he's like four years old and uh like eight months before you know he turns uh five and we would honestly just have naruto crying see naruto would be in his room crying just wondering why everybody treats him so horribly when Deku, or no, I really just said Deku. When Naruto would proceed to essentially just be crying, he would have his hand over her, over his, you know, his head as ice would shoot out of his hand, and he would basically end up shooting it like um, away from his head because as soon as Naruto felt something weird in his hand, he would shoot it away at the wall, and he basically proceeds to freeze half of his wall within his house. Naruto, after seeing that, would be like, "Whoa, did I just, did I just use a jutsu?" As Naruto's just like, that's awesome, you know, he would stop crying and try to do it again and again and again and again and again and again. And it wouldn't really work until like the seventh time until Naruto was finally able to shoot the ice particles once again. Naruto would be like, that's so cool, you know what I mean? As out of nowhere, his left side, his, uh, or actually, how is it? His left and right side. His right side is fire. His left side is ice, I believe it is. I'm not sure. But yeah, we would basically just have Naruto be like, "All right, boys," because wait, no, 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 hold on. His le his right side is ice. Sorry, you guys wouldn't weren't able to hear me because I went away from the mic. But his left side is ice, or no, no, no. His right side is ice, and his left side is fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. I think, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong down below in the comments. And sorry that I'm taking so long just to explain that part, which so many of you guys probably know, but. That doesn't matter. I'm going to explain it anyways. That being said, though, you know, we would basically just have after Naruto realizes that, you know, he has Jutsu, quote unquote, because it's not Jutsu. It's a quirk. And it's also not going to be some KK Genkai in case any of you guys are wondering that. <clears throat> and so we would basically just have Naruto realizing that he just he used a Jutsu. That's that's awesome. And so for the next couple of years, Naruto would begin to practice with this ability within the forest. Now, seeing as he was a little kid, he's not exactly going to make some giant iceberg, which is going to basically pop out of the forest. And so what Naruto would do is basically train in secret in the forest using his ice and fire abilities. Because a couple of days after he uses ice abilities and begins to practice in the forest, he realized that, yo, that fire stuff, he has fire jutsu as well. So Naruto's pretty happy and practices using him. And so, for the next following years, Naruto would train in the inside of the forest until one day, the iceberg would grow a little bigger than what Naruto expected and he would have to flee from the scene. A couple of villagers would see it the next couple of days and they would report back to Hiruzen that there was a giant beam of ice in the middle of the forest, to which Hiruzen would send out some ninjas but they wouldn't end up finding anything. <clears throat> and afterwards, Naruto would realize, yeah, he's going to be needing a better place to train. And so that's when he would find the forest of death where the trees are much larger and nobody would be able to see those gigantic icebergs that Naruto tries to make. Now, they're not gigantic like the one that Todoroki used in the uh, stadium quite yet, but they are, you know, they're pretty big. So, you know, it gets about as high as normal trees. That being said, though, this is when Naruto would continue training in secret inside of the tra uh, inside of the forest of death, where Naruto would have to face a bunch of beasts on the daily, and by the end of everything, he'd be having some pretty bad scuffs. He would end up basically making a little bit of a camp there, with like a little cave where he would bring food in there every now and then, and he would just fish for his food, as well as, you know, take out some animals every now and then for his, you know, his food. That being said, Naruto would continue training in the forest, and this is when he would realize that, you know, he can't just rely on Jutsu, he has to also have Taijutsu. So Naruto would go back to the Hidden Leaf Village and ask Hiruzen for some scrolls, even though he hates having to ask. He would end up asking Hiruzen, to which Hiruzen would be like, oh yeah, sure Naruto, you know, he gives him a couple of scrolls about Taijutsu, and you know, how to use his chakra a little bit to pretty much enhance his ability like coat his body with chakra so that you know his punches and kicks do more damage and naruto would end up training with this for the next following two years where naruto would only know how to basically channel his chakra within his body as well as you know be pretty strong in taijutsu and so we would essentially just have naruto having a gigantic time skip where it would be now that he's at the age of 13 years old and a lot of you guys are probably like oh wow we're already getting to the you know the uh, the little zabuza mission and the bell test not quite <clears throat> because in this version of events we're actually going to be having all of the kids that you know everything basically held back three years so you know how um 
basically everybody you know graduated the academy at like 13 or 12 i believe it was in this version of events they're going to be graduating at 16 and going into the academy at 13. that being said some of the uh, uchiha like events would end up being held back by three years as well and everything else that pretty much ends up going down in the normal world of naruto would be held back with <clears throat> with the akatsuki only being held back two years because trust me if i hold them back for that much longer then it's just not gonna be fun that being said though we would basically have naruto being basically as strong as todoroki is in the manga because I mean, Todoroki has to train his quirk, you know, he, he ended up learning how to create these, you know, pretty cool things, how to ice skate with his, you know, his, his ice stuff and all that shit, and how to shoot fire and all that, so Naruto knows how to do all of that basic stuff. Naruto also knows how to shoot ice shards at people that are, like, sharp, think Killer Frost from DC Comics, and Naruto can also freeze somebody by simply grabbing onto them and, you know, holding his hand there, they would get frozen, and he could break them from then on, quite literally like Sub-Zero would. That being said, Naruto also has like a Sub-Zero ball where he can throw it and it would quite literally proceed to freeze anybody. Naruto also has the ability to essentially shoot fire from the palm of his hand and coat half of his body with fire and ice, which causes him to, you know, pretty much amp up his physical abilities. And so if he rushes at you with Taijutsu and hits you even once, if he hits you with his fire side, you get fourth degree burns. If he hits you with his left side, or yeah, his left side, you get frozen and mangled. So... Naruto, pretty OP to say the least. That being said though, now he has three more years to continue practicing with these abilities, where he would basically go into the academy one day, on his first day actually, and sit right next to Sasuke before Ino and Sakura could even walk into the classroom. Ino and Sakura would walk over to Naruto as they're like, hey, you're sitting on our seat. As Naruto looks towards them, they would just be like, get out of there before we make you get lost. Nobody's gonna sit next to Sasuke-kun except us. As you know, Naruto would just be there like, uh, no. And they both look at him, and, and Sakura, you know, she raises her fist and goes on to punch Naruto, but Naruto catches it with one hand and says, I said no, now get lost, as he would crush her hand, and Sakura would begin to scream, and she'd like, ah, you know what I mean? Naruto would then look at her as, you know, he pushes her away, and Sasuke would just turn over to Naruto as he's like, thank you. Naruto would look at Sasuke and say, for what? As Sasuke would say, those two are so annoying. Naruto would say, I'd say, as they would both begin to laugh a little bit and chuckle. This is when Iruka sensei would basically end up walking inside the classroom as he would tell them all that, you know, for their first day in the academy, he simply wants to see where they're at in terms of their skill. So he would give them a little bit of a test just to find out what they think about being a ninja, as well as having them all go outside to take the little um, physical portion of the exam to see where they all stand. And so, we would basically proceed to have Naruto and Sasuke go out there. Now, when it comes to throwing shuriken and all that stuff, Naruto does get second place to Sasuke. But when it comes to the, the you know, the fighting comp portion, we would have Naruto facing off against Kiba for his first ever fight instead of Sasuke. You guys are going to be finding out why very, very shortly. Sasuke would go up to do his own fight, fighting against some fodder kid, destroying him, and Naruto would then go up to Kiba, as Kiba and Akamaro, you know, they're, 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 they're little babies, you know what I mean? Kiba doesn't even have the fang over fang jutsu, but he is kind of strong physically. So he would rush at Naruto, you know, thinking that this is going to be a piece of cake, and Naruto, using his taijutsu prowess, would block his attack with his arm, as he would push him back, and then Naruto would just throw one punch straight to Kiba's stomach, as Kiba gets sent flying outside of the circle that was, was drawn for them as Kiba's eliminated and Naruto would basically just be cheered on by Sasuke. Sasuke's like, whoa, you're pretty strong. You know what I mean? He's happy for his little friend that he just made. As the rest of the class would look at Sasuke be like, oh, he's cheering for him. I guess we might as well too. As people start cheering for Naruto and Naruto would be like happy for once. Naruto was like not around the village for a couple of years. So some people kind of like forgot about the nine tails here isn't always knew where naruto was because he did keep watch over him and here is in this whole time <clears throat> has known about naruto's ice and fire abilities just thinking that it's a kk genkai just trying to leave naruto alone for his own training but as soon as he becomes a ninja heroes is finally going to address this that being said, we would basically have Naruto continuing to train during these next three years along with Sasuke. Now you guys may be wondering, why does he want to be so strong? And that's because Naruto wants to be Hokage. He wants to take Hiruzen's position as the Hokage because 
He resents him. That's literally it. Not because he wants the respect of the village or because he wants to be some great ninja. Naruto quite literally wants to do it just to be petty. And that shows you the level of pettiness that Todoroki has. <clears throat> After this, we would basically have Iruka realizing, you know, okay, Naruto's pretty strong physically, as he would ask Naruto to, you know, if he can perform any jutsu. Now, Naruto would then proceed to aim his hand out as he creates a gigantic iceberg, and everybody would just be like, whoa, that's a jutsu? Iruka would be like, he has ice release? As you know, they would basically chalk it up to a KK Genkai, just be like, yo, Naruto, that's not a jutsu, it's, it's a KK Genkai, probably. And everybody would kind of just chalk it up to that, thinking that, whoa, Naruto has a Kiki Genkai. Sasuke would be like, whoa, you have one too? Because, you know, Sasuke knows he's going to get the Sharingan someday, even though he still doesn't have it. And so after that, we would basically have Naruto becoming, like, pretty much good friends with Sasuke. Kind of being, like, his right-hand man, and Sasuke would be Naruto's right-hand man as well where they're both like the little mr populars and a lot of the girls in their class actually like them both however naruto doesn't really care about that stuff because he only cares about his friend sasuke and it would be pretty good until the first year of the academy was over towards the end of it when sasuke and, and his family had the uchiha, uchiha massacre happen and so itachi flees the village sasuke is left there as in this version of events he's older so his body can handle the awakening of the sharingan and afterwards, we would have Sasuke beginning to train with Naruto every day, pushing himself harder than he ever has before. The training days would become more boring and more, uh, like, uh, more, like, tough every single day. And Naruto would always wonder why Sasuke acts like this. You know, Sasuke doesn't open up with Naruto about his feelings often. And so Naruto's kind of just left in the dark when it comes to how Sasuke feels about what happened to his family. Of course, he understands that Sasuke obviously doesn't feel good, but... He wishes that he could do more for Sasuke. And so, Sasuke and Naruto would continue their training. As Sasuke would get even better with Taijutsu, Naruto would, you know, he would amp up his fire and ice release, stuff like that, which isn't ice release, it's more like a quirk. And, you know, he just calls it ice release and all that stuff. So we're just going to be naming it that, even though it's a quirk. Keep in mind, it's a quirk. And so, they would basically continue training. Sasuke would develop a resistance towards fire and ice because of the fact that he trains against him all the time. And that's going to be very, very helpful for once they get to the land of the waves and fight against Haku. That being said, though, we're going to be having a little bit of a three-year time skip until the day of the finals of the Academy. They would all basically go on and take their test, as after all this time, I'm guessing many of you guys are wondering, so does Naruto finally learn about Chakra? Naruto does learn a little bit about it, but he, he doesn't exactly learn water walking or tree walking, seeing as nobody in the Academy did, so I'm not going to expect Naruto to do that either. Naruto just gets way stronger with his Taijutsu. He's around Rock Lee's level at this point, like think about Third Gate Rock Lee's level because he's been training for just as long as rock actually nah nah rock lee i mean wait he's amp with his chakra and he's amp with uh let's just say he's as strong as second gate lee you know what i'm no first gate lee yeah first gate lee he's as strong as first gate lee when it comes to his taijutsu so it's pretty refined but naruto can definitely you know he can definitely oh oh uh tiktok <laughs> Sorry guys, I opened my phone and the last thing that I had open was TikTok, so that was the first thing that just kind of went on. Uh, my bad guys. Anyways though, so we would basically just have Naruto and Sasuke acing this. Now you guys may be wondering, yo, but Naruto can't even do any shadow clones. How does he ace this? He creates an ice clone because now Naruto not only has those previous abilities that I mentioned, all of them got stronger tenfold. So you know those giant icebergs that Todoroki can make? Imagine that, but like the size of a literal mountain. That is how giant Naruto's icebergs can be. And his flames are blue they're blue flames now so they're basically as powerful as cremation flames so they are pretty broken and when it comes to like his his like uh fire attacks and all that crazy stuff naruto is just in his own different league he can create clones he can create weapons he can create like an ice scythe a fire scythe he can coat himself with an ice armor or a fire armor whenever he wants and Naruto is just in a league of his own. When it comes to Sasuke, at this point, three years of training with Naruto constantly, and Naruto's just a monster in his own league. Sasuke is pretty much as good as as good as uh, he was by the time of the tuning exams when he had a fight against Gara. Like he doesn't have the Chidori, of course, but he does have access to the three Tomo Sharingan as well as Taijutsu. That is pretty 
pretty broken you know what i mean like he's about as strong as fourth gate lee now naruto at this point after this three-year time skip is very very broken when it comes to taijutsu as well where they're both about equal but since sasuke is the one that's like behind naruto and you know he, he you know doesn't really have access to much sasuke ended up practicing his fire style fire release jutsu a whole lot more and when it comes to his taijutsu training sasuke would train after naruto was asleep he would go back to their training ground train every day for countless amount of hours because his first person to beat is naruto and after he's able to beat him he'll know he's ready for itachi and so that's basically the little uh relationship that naruto and sasuke have up until this point they're still pretty good friends and after a while sasuke's little uh emo emo state would slowly start fading away kind of thawing if i could put it in like a in, in a metaphor type way and so after this we would essentially just have the you know them all pass and the very next day they would be assigned their chunin sensei where you know they all or no their jonin sensei sorry and they would all basically just you know wait in the class kakashi would be pretty late just like he always is kakashi would finally arrive and all of them would end up telling their goals sasuke wouldn't actually be as emo as normal he would basically be like yeah since sasuke uchiha my likes training with naruto my dislikes as he would look over to sakura's direction who's still gonna be on team seven and sakura would be pretty sad after hearing that as sakura would just basically just stay quiet when she's asked what her likes are as she doesn't even want to bother sasuke and naruto goes up and says that he wants to become a hokage and take Kirizen's position as kakashi's just like okay so he's open about that and naruto just has like an angry look on his face when he says that the, the similar look that todoroki had when he talked about destroying deku and how deku was all my secret love son and the son and all that crazy stuff so kakashi poofs into smoke as everybody realizes the man was a literal shadow clone he didn't even show up on time and he was a shadow clone as you know they're all they're all pretty angry and they would then all realize that yeah they got to meet up the very next day which is what they would pretty much go on to do the very next day, they would pretty much all proceed to arrive at the grounds that Kakashi had laid out for them, ending up having to wait three hours before Kakashi finally arrives. And so, during those three hours, everybody kind of just went over to a tree and passed out there until Kakashi finally arrived and was like, Hey, hey guys, wake up. Everybody wakes up, they're like, uh, yeah, what happened? As Kakashi's just like, okay, I, I gotta start getting here on time. And Kakashi would just be like, sorry guys, I got lost on the path of life, you know what I mean? None of them would buy the excuse. But Kakashi would then basically begin to give them like 10 minutes to wake up a little bit, and he would then proceed to explain what they're going to be doing. Now, all of them would be pretty hungry at this point, because none of them ended up eating, because, you know, Naruto, like, he listened to Kakashi, he's like, okay, so, you know, hard training, nothing I haven't, you know, dealt with before, because at one point, Naruto Naruto did train so hard that he threw up everywhere so Naruto didn't want to have to have a part two of that so he didn't eat and so everybody else wouldn't have ate as well and when Kakashi explains this he would pretty much just end up telling them that instead of having the bell test what <clears throat> you know what I'm gonna try something different I'm gonna try something different all right instead of having the bell test what they're going to be having to do is oh, no wait am i ready wait should i should i do this i don't know okay yeah instead of having the bell test they're going to basically be having to take a cup of water from kakashi and and what's it called and not spill it and that's going to be pretty hard and the focus of this exercise is basically just going to be that all of them need to be able to do teamwork I, I i guess uh yeah i thought about what i was about to do and it didn't make any sense there was no way kakashi was going to be able to fight with a water with like a little thing of water in his hand against naruto and sasuke so uh instead he's going to be telling them that they're going to be doing the bell test and he would just basically be like all right go now as soon as he says go sasuke would rush kakashi at blinding speeds as kakashi would be like what you know he would basically put his book away as he's like yeah i didn't expect this and naruto would come in right behind him sliding over to him as fast as he could with his ice and shooting a gigantic burst of flames at kakashi which kakashi would substitute out of and sasuke would just be standing there sasuke would quite literally just jump up as he would dodge the flames and he would then shoot a fireball jutsu straight towards naruto's direction 
because Kakashi like basically body flickered behind Naruto. Naruto would proceed to basically turn into water as he would melt, quite literally melt, and the fireball would hit Kakashi head on, causing him to hit a tree. The real Kakashi, by the way. Kakashi would stand back up as he reveals his Sharingan and then says, all right, I guess you guys are going to be a real thing to fight against. And Kakashi would basically rush at the team as he's like, all right, as he would throw blow for blow for blow with Naruto and Sasuke. You know, Naruto and Sasuke would be fighting back to back. Think Momoshiki versus Naruto and Sasuke type stuff. And Kakashi would be dodging their attacks as best as he can. Also noticing that, Sh that Sasuke has a 3 to most Sharingan. Because at this point, he pushed him to that level. And Sasuke was just throwing blows with Kakashi, you know, trying to catch him off guard. Kakashi was definitely having to try pretty hard in order to keep Kakashi at bay. And when it comes to Naruto, he quite literally could not get hit by any of the blows. Because if he does... Kakashi might just die, because at this point, Naruto's coating himself with an armor of ice, which slows him down significantly, but boosts his strength so much. And he's, you know, basically fighting against Kakashi with an ice sword, which Kakashi is having to repel with the little kunai that he has. And so the battle just keeps going on, and Sakura is just thinking, I, I have to do something. And so right as Naruto and Sasuke were about to steal the bells from Kakashi, Sakura would jump in there and be like, hey, I can do something too. As you know, she comes in and throws a punch, which would actually cause, uh, you know, Sasuke and Naruto to get distracted, and Kakashi would kick both of them in the face simultaneously with like a split kick, which would cause both of them to get flung away right before they grabbed the bell, and they would get back up as they would look at Sakura with angry expressions on their face and Sakura would kind of just like look down and be like uh sorry as you know Naruto and Sasuke would rush back to Kakashi and Kakashi before he can get hit would say you fail as they would be like what what are you talking about we failed you said get the bells there's two meaning that we can both pass she doesn't have to she belongs back in the academy as we would then basically have kakashi just being like that may be so but you completely fail to see the point of the exercise as he would tie them both up to a stump and you know we would basically just have sakura being the only one who's sitting there as they would proceed to essentially talk a little bit about what just happened back there and naruto and sasuke would apologize to sakura for what they did as sakura would say not to worry about it she would then basically begin to feed them both as kakashi would come out and be like you you pass being like you know people who abandon the mission are scum but people who abandon their friends are worse than scum and they would end up going on two weeks worth of worthless missions until finally they end up telling something to the whole Kage, or at least Sasuke would. No, Naruto would. He would walk in there and be like, hey, old man, why don't you give us a better mission? We're tired of, you know, walking cats, walking old ladies down the streets and, you know, finding cats every other day. Give us something real. You're wasting our talents. As Hiruzen would just look at Naruto and be like, oh, okay, fine. I'll give you this mission. As he would give them that C-rank mission of Tazuna, and they would end up getting ready for the next day where they're all going to be having to meet Tazuna. Now, the day before, Tazuna was a drunken mess, basically slurring his words and be like, you know. So when they meet Tazuna, he would apologize for how he was yesterday, saying that, you know, that wasn't him. And they would go on to walk for about 30 minutes when they would finally realize that there's a Genjutsu. Now, Naruto seeing the Genjutsu would immediately break it and he would proceed to basically shoot ice straight at both of the demon brothers, causing them both to get frozen in place. Naruto would then walk up to them as he would break the ice, punching him. And the the demon brothers would just get basically in just explode in gigantic chunks as everybody would continue walking and sasuke would just kind of have his hands in his pocket just thinking nothing new as you know at this point naruto has had to you know kill people before because of the fact that well some people just drove him to have to do it i mean some ninjas try to attack naruto every now and then and naruto was not gonna let that slide if it was a villager okay maybe he'll let them do whatever they want to do but if it's a ninja who purposefully has the intent of harming naruto and killing him then naruto is going to be returning the favor and so we would essentially have them all continuing to walk for an hour with kakashi being suspicious of tazuna until we would have a gigantic amount of mist rolling up now when this happens kakashi would tell them all to stay out of the way as you know the blade would come in they would all duck and kakashi and the zabuza fight would pretty much go as it does in canon however as soon as kakashi's trapped in the water bubble naruto would quite literally scoff and just say 
Kashi. As he would create two ice clones and two fire clones, which would protect Tazuna. And he would begin to rush straight at Tazuna, or no, Zabuza. As he would look at Sasuke, Sasuke would activate his three Tomoe Sharingan. As they would both rush straight at Zabuza, who would leave a couple of clones there for them to deal with. Naruto would quite literally just shoot a bunch of fire at them, which would cause them all to just poof into smoke. And Zabuza would have to let go of the Jutsu because he realizes these two kids are no joke. They're at least at least joning level there's no way they're tuning level or getting level he would basically jump back as he would then say water dragon jutsu and naruto would see this gigantic water dragon coming at him as he would have an idea he would basically create a gigantic wall that would go up literally like 75 feet of ice straight into the air which would block the water dragon from hitting them and after this naruto would quite literally ramp up his body heat as he would walk straight through the the ice wall sasuke would as well as he would basically just look at zabuza who's like just like yo these kids are insane he would take out a sword as he would say well, looks like Kakashi, your students are even stronger than you are. As he would then look towards Naruto who would be gone. And he would have this gigantic fire flame sword right next to him. He would go over to slash at Zabuza. As Zabuza would block with the with the blade that he has now seeing that Zabuz is in trouble Haku would rush in there as Sasuke was about to deliver one of the finishing blows shooting a gigantic fireball jutsu right at Zabuza but Haku would come in and throw a senbon needle right at Sasuke which he would have to dodge last minute and having to redirect his trajectory straight over to Haku Haku would come in and trap Sasuke into ice ice uh, crystal mirrors and Sasuke would just basically be like all right little ice crystal mirrors that's that's cute as he would melt he would melt them sasuke's fire jutsus are no joke he's been having to fight against an ice user for his entire life pretty much and so when haku puts up those ice mirrors sasuke's just like huh, that's cute as he melts each and every single one of them causing haku to have to fight sasuke one-on-one -on -one, mano imanu and sasuke he shits on haku i'm sorry i'm sorry but he he just completely dusts haku there is nothing that Haku's going to be able to do against Sasuke. And when it comes to Naruto, Naruto would keep hitting Sabuza's blade until he breaks it with about his fifth strike to it. And then he would rush straight at Zabuza as he would basically create an ice scythe, which would quite literally cut straight into Zabuza's body, freezing him upon contact, causing Zabuza to just be standing there as an ice sculpture as Haku would see this. And she would basically see as Naruto would destroy the ice, the ice sculpture of Zabuza killing him Haku would lose all sense of reason as she would rush straight at Naruto trying to hurt him however Naruto would just stick out one hand as he freezes Haku and Sasuke then comes in and says hey I had that as Naruto would just be like you did I, I couldn't tell I mean you did before but when she got once he got angry you didn't have it and Sasuke's just like what do you mean he and Naruto just looks at him and he smirks and Sasuke's like oh god as you know he would basically come in and break the ice like little clone thing that he basically just created after this Sasuke would just be like Ugh. as to this point that Sa that Sasuke and everybody would go over to Tazuna as they're like yo what's going on here bro like like I know I haven't been a ninja for too long but this isn't a C rank mission as they would look at Tazuna as he's just like worried but then Sasuke and Naruto would be like bro thank you so much like I was getting so bored of these lame missions as Tazuna just like huh he's like I thought you guys were mad at me and they were like mad we're grateful as you know Tazuna is just like oh well uh thanks as you know they go over there and the only thing that they have to deal with after that is Gato's men which they would deal with after the bridge is completely built and after that that pretty much would conclude the wave of the of the the no 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 the the land hidden in the waves mission the hidden waves the Taz Zabuza mission yeah, yeah after this they would all return to the village and that is where my part of what if Naruto had half hot, half cold is going to be ending. Before you guys actually end up having to hear anything from my boy Aizen, I'm going to be having to tell you guys about the sponsor of today's video, Fandom. Okay guys, so Fandom is an awesome anime merch apparel store where you guys can actually buy some of the hottest and most fire anime merch for a 
absurdly reasonable price if you guys go down below to my description right now you guys will be able to click on that on the links which will send you to a fire anime merch store where you guys will be seeing all the options that you guys see up on screen right now and those are only some of them they offer all the mainstream anime such as my hero naruto one piece tokyo revengers uh demon slayer dragon ball they pretty much offer anything you guys can really think of with dope designs and um quick efficient shipping trust me i have one of their own stuff as well and it got to me in about one week so it's pretty good stuff not only that but if you use code zether at checkout you guys can even save an extra five percent off of your order which is already reasonably you know which is a pretty reasonable discount seeing as their stuff is like 50 percent off right now so if i was you guys i would act extremely fast so yeah as I said again, code Zether, check out if you guys want to say 5% off. And with that being said, Aizen, take it away, man. So pretty much what, just like Zether says, I'll be, you know, concluding the rest of this what if. Now, pretty much, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to, I don't know if I should take this to Putin. I don't think I'll be able to, like, go from the end of the land of the waves to, like, the end of the training exams, like how I usually end my what ifs. I don't know if that'll be the right amount. So maybe I'll go to like just barely in the um, Shippuden area, I guess you can say. Like maybe a little bit before the paint arc. Try to end it there. But we'll see. So pretty much uh, hopefully you guys like this, uh, you know, this what if in general. And without further ado, guys, let's um, resume this what if. So pretty much Naruto and the rest of Team 7 have gotten back from the uh, land of the waves and pretty much kakashi would say you guys can uh can, you know chill for the rest of the day i'm gonna go turn in the uh, mission report and uh, i'll see you guys tomorrow as they would wave to kakashi naruto and sasuke they will just just keep training you know they they're on the grind you know they're like the rock you know the rock's like new song uh it's about i'm not even gonna try and sing it <laughs> no pretty much what happens for the rest of the day sasuke and naruto will start training you know, Sasuke getting more of a mastery over, you know, fire while getting more of a resistance to ice. And Naruto learning how to manifest other objects like a sword, a axe, a scythe, other cool weapons like that. But he would mainly stick to the sword. And soon, soon, he, once he gets like his quirk evolution, which I'll kind of make up, but he'll be able to send like ice based attacks from the sword and it'll be like more like energy based kind of like when a character just swings and a huge energy wave comes out of it it'll kind of be a little bit like that so like basically we're making naruto op and when naruto pretty much gets his kcm like shit he's gonna be too op for the whole verse like he's gonna be smacking otsutsuki's left uh, from like left to right like it's nothing and pretty much what would happen next is the next day naruto would get up as uh pretty much he would hear a knock at the door now i don't know if his other's fine with this but i i kind of want to give um you know you know naruto his like todoroki suit i don't know if he'll be fine with it but i just really like it so he says i can basically like do the rest of this so you know do it how i like uh, based on his part so i'm just going to give him this suit in general and pretty much he would um open the door as you know he would kind of scratch his eyes he since he just woke up and he would he'd see kakashi and kakashi would say well pretty much um meet us at team ground uh like training ground seven where we'll be going over some important news as naruto would say all right all right i'll be there in about 10 minutes as he would close the door and pretty much you know that would have been the clone of kakashi so it would have poofed so, you know, knowing that it was a clone, he would have just closed the door and got ready. So Naruto would get on his usual uh, suit, which would have been the Todoroki outfit, as he would have combed his hair, keeping the white hair for, like, you know, kind of um, one to the right, one, like, his white hair would go to the left side, his, you know, red hair would go kind of, I'm sorry, yeah, I, I said that right, the red hair would go to the left side, the right would, the white would go to the red, the, the white would go to the right, <laughs> oh man, tongue twisters, so pretty much he would then, you know, um, walk out the door as he would you know, lock the door with his key, and he would, you know, body flicker, kind of, not body flicker, but like, just instinctively do it, he doesn't actually know, since like most of the, like literally throughout his whole childhood, he didn't even know what jutsus were, he just thought like his quirk was just like jutsu, was a jutsu, but then he realized it's kind of like an, his own ability from manifested from his soul in a sense. 
So once he would have pretty much got to the training ground, he would have seen Kakashi, Sasuke, and Sakura. He would have walked up to Sasuke, kind of dapped him up. He was saying, you know, what's up? And pretty much, you know, he would have sat down, uh, kind of like by, there would have been like the stairs uh, by the training ground, kind of leaving the exit by the exit and all, or by the entrance in a sense. And pretty much Kakashi, you know, appearing a few seconds later, he would have then started to explain to them what they'll be doing for the next two weeks. So Kakashi would say, you guys heard of the uh, Chinin exams, right? As Sasuke would say, yeah, I remember my brother used to tell me about it. And uh, pretty much what would happen is if once you pass all the ex three uh, parts of an exam, you'd be promoted to tuning and you'd, you know, uh, kind of rise in the social status. As Kakashi, say, Kakashi would say, that's exactly right, Sasuke. And pretty much that ex same exam is coming up soon. So I'll be telling you guys that um, you should, you know, prepare yourself and get ready since you're going to be fighting ninjas from the the rain village the sound village and the sand village including ninjas from our own village so i'm going to be training you for the next two weeks and hopefully we'll be able to um get stronger so pretty much what would happen is i hope this is the inconsistent i hope zeta didn't do this but if he didn't you know have um Sasuke learned Ichidori. I don't think he did. I know for a fact he didn't. But in this two weeks, Sasuke will be learning the Ichidori. Due to him already training with Naruto, he's already been like he already has a high rate of learning abilities. And with his latent potential for like I don't know, being Andro's incarnation, a reincarnation, and possibly getting the Renner Sharingan when he goes up as an adult and all other abilities that he can manifest. So pretty much he'd be able to learn the um, Ichidori. Now Kakashi won't be teaching Sakura. Number one, so, uh, you know he'll be sending Sakura over to Kurenai because Sakura has displayed that she really likes. Uh, she thinks like she's really uh, compatible for Genjutsu. So Kakashi would then uh, tell you know give her um, the contacts for like Kurenai and pretty much uh, Kurenai would start to train Sakura for the rest of the two weeks. And since you know Kurenai, Kurenai and Sakura, they're both Kunoichi, so they should have some type of bond. And Kurenai should be able to like train her, and you know Sakura should be less useless. So pretty much what would happen is Naruto and Sasuke they would get trained, and like I said, Naruto would you know learn how to manifest more objects, like swords, axes, scythes, and who knows he could start if he wanted to. He could literally make like a house out of his ice. It, it would be kind of hard and the, the house would, it would kind of feel weird since it's i don't know made out of ice but you know he'd still be able to do it. anything he pictures in his mind he should be able to make it if he wanted to he can make a meteor out of his out of ice if he really like started to train his ability so pretty much uh we'll do a time skip of said two weeks as all the you know uh, Sakura would have came back. She she's looking more strong, and she you know she has more confidence. As pretty much what would happen is they would you know kind of walk together, and pretty much Naruto would see Konohamaru getting like bullied. Now, if I know like in this, what if Naruto despises Hibuza, and if let's say you know, I don't know Konohamaru would he get severely injured, he'd see that angry look in you know Hibuza's eyes. You know, it'd be very satisfying but number one you know he remembered his old, like the days when he was growing up he remembered Konohamaru who's a chill kid it is you know he's so pretty much what would happen is he would appear between Konkuro and you know uh he was like holding up uh, Konohamaru and Naruto would then freeze his arm just like just a little bit as basically all the cells in his right arm would stop working so that means he would like he would like pull back his arm like or not pull it back but his arm would like kind of release the grip on Konohamaru as he would fall down and he would run behind Sakura just like he did in canon. So pretty much what would happen is Sasuke would be in the tree as Naruto would then have a stare down with Konkuro and Tamari you know exerting his um cold uh kiss killer intent in a sense due to him having half cold he could be able to like exert his pressure onto them with the cold intent or if he wanted to he can have it as a hot intent. And pretty much he would then uh, spawn his blue flames on his uh, left side as he would spawn his ice on the right side, basically flexing off, flexing his power. So pretty much um, they would fear him in a sense or like, you know, know to back up, you know, like he, th he's going to rock their shit pretty much. So pretty much after this, Gar would come down, they would, they're about to start fighting shit as, you know, 
uh, what would happen next is Sasuke would then appear behind Gara as he would hold a kunai to his throat, basically telling him that's not, you know, quite a wise decision decision to basically want to start a fight with the strongest team in all of Konoha. Now that was probably an objective opinion, uh, subjective opinion, but you know maybe after the after the time skip, they'll probably be the strongest ninja in the whole damn village with he was in, uh, you know, being murked and all. So. Pretty much what would happen is um, after the whole stare down, Gara would then say, I'm going to kill you, Konkuro. You're kind of how what he did in, you know, canon. As they would then, you know, uh, leave after, um, you know, Gara would ask for Naruto and Sasuke's you know, names. So pretty much after the whole encounter with Team Gara, you know, Team Seven would head at home. As if you guys are wondering, I'm going to, I'm going to be doing something nice for Naruto. Now since Sasuke literally has the whole Uchiha compound to himself, he would give Naruto a house. Like a house, like the one that was right next to him. It was a pretty good house. So Naruto would head home, uh, pack all his stuff into a scroll. Before then, he would go over to the house. And, you know, he would hug Sasuke, you know, thanking him for giving him a house. You know, almost tearing up for a little bit. Just in this whole, like, time growing up with Sasuke, he's become almost like a brother to Naruto in a sense. So, you know, he's, he's going to be very thankful and grateful and in debt to him. As he's going to be like, <laughs> we're definitely going to turn this into a lot of training since we're like right next to each other. So no lazing around. You know, it's about drive. It's about power. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so pretty much Naruto would unpack his stuff and they would head to sleep for the night after kind of chilling, you know, watching some uh, Netflix, but they're not Netflix. Never mind. I'm, don't, don't, I'm not even going to think about it. So they would pretty much just chill before Naruto would head back to his house, you know, saying goodbye to Sasuke. As the next day, uh, Naruto would be all, he wouldn't be able to sleep. He'd be so goddamn excited. He couldn't sleep. Like, there'd be a whole arc with him as he would, he would kind of be rolling around in bed. And, you know, so excited. So if you're so excited, then you, you can't sleep. There's just too much adrenaline in your body. As he would finally calm down at about 3 a.m., he, he would run out of all this excitement before he would go to sleep. He wouldn't have much sleep, but, you know, he'd be fine. He would wake up about like 9 a.m. It would be a good six hours. As he would wake up with Sasuke waking up saying, Damn, Naruto, like, did you just like, you, did you also like stay up because you're so excited? As, you know, Naruto would be like, Yeah, like, you, you're excited as well, right? As he would say, Yeah. <laughs> and then he was like, We gotta go. It's 9 a.m. You know, we only have like 10 minutes. As Naruto would say, Yeah, I, don't worry though. I, I made this technique. All right, you want to try it out? Uh, hopefully, you can keep your grip, though. You're going to have to put chakra on your feet. As Sasuke would be like, what do you mean? As what would happen is uh, pretty much Naruto would make a huge run. Like, he would make a, um, like a, a cast a ramp of ice before he would then say, okay, I'm going to send you flying, and hopefully, you'll be able to land on the ramp on the other side, which I put years back. Hopefully, it didn't melt. As Sasuke be like, hopefully, you mean you don't even know if it's still there? As Naruto say, I mean, you got yourself right. You still, you know what body flicker is, right? As Sasuke be like, all right, all right, fuck it. As pretty much what would happen is Naruto would then grab Sasuke, like hold, have his arm, like his hands on his back. As then he would put chakra in his hands. As he would start to give Sasuke a boost, for Sasuke would kind of run forward, putting chakra in his in his uh you know feet. As he would you know kind of body flicker, going pretty fast. As he would jump off the ramp, and he would she would have some pretty good air time. He'd be like gliding through the air in a sense. Let's just let's just say uh it's pretty fun. As pretty much he would luckily land on the other side of the ramp and he would just basically like slide down until he hit a tree. You know, he'd be like, this is so fun. But for his face, he would just face plant on a tree. He's like, oh, damn. And pretty much what happened is Naruto would be like, oh, I remember when I did that. My face hurt for the next two weeks. It would just feel Sasuke's like pain from all the way over there <laughs> Naruto would be like you shall know pain <laughs> I'm just kidding but basically Naruto would then go and like jump off the ramp as um yeah I'm just making up some bullshit you know I'm gonna make some entertainment here as you know he would make it on the other side as he would walk up to Sasuke he's still groaning laying on the ground say damn you Naruto damn this iceberg damn this whole village I'm gonna destroy it one day <laughs> That'd be a huge scene where like uh, Sasuke's be like, "You traitor!" 
like the moment from like Attack on Titan. As Naruto would be like, okay, okay, calm down. As he would walk up to Sasuke and he would use his fire. As Sasuke would be like, damn, he's gonna burn me. But like when he tapped him with his fire, the pretty much what would happen is he would start healing the the bruise on Sasuke's face. So he'd say, okay, that's the you know I, I'll I'm not as mad at as he as you know before but we gotta get over there we only have like a few minutes as they would run over to the academy and luckily chakra is you know if she's not useless she's good at one thing she's good at waking up early like for some reason in the the um, this is a small little tangent but in canon she didn't actually need to cheat at all she's pretty book smart as well so pretty much uh you know they would they would kind of make it there uh, back to the earth. I forgot to say that, but they would make it to the academy, and Sokka would be like, "What happened? I I see this huge ice ramp. Is was that you, Naruto?" And so Naruto would be like, "Yeah, Sokka, you gotta try it one day. You know, you could just like this ramp is only for people who have no balls." As <laughs> Sokka would be like, "That's pretty easy. I don't have any." <laughs> nah, hopefully this time, hopefully that joke doesn't get deep. <laughs> Gets other demonetized. It's gonna be like, okay, Archimedes Eisen, you're gonna need to pay me for the amount of money I was gonna make. So it will be like, I don't know, two thousand dollars. You know, you wanna you wanna work that off? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So basically, uh, they would walk in the academy and they would you know talk to Kakashi, kind of making a few last words before they would enter the. Um, the i guess the academy they would go in so they would walk in and naruto and you know sasuke they would see lee now pretty much in zether's whole video he's been comparing naruto's strength to that of lee and pretty much they look at lee and they see him he's he's, he's he could easily beat those two guards like they're trying to like team three is trying to get past the guards but they're easily just not doing anything so naruto will get this wave of disgust how how is the, pretty much one of the strongest taiju to user in the whole damn village you know bending to these people's whims as he would walk by as he and team seven no 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 just this, some wave of just disgust would come over naruto he doesn't usually feel this but he's probably feeling kurama's disgust because you know kurama he's looking at this he he's kind of bored in the cage he's looking through naruto's eyes seeing his whole adventure and shit and he sees he sees his he sees guy i mean not guy but like guy's students lee and it, this guy's strong this guy could probably give naruto a run for his money as you know pretty much she sees like how um he's like you know uh lee's just he, he, lee can easily figure it out and walk by but pretty much uh team seven they would walk by the guards the guards would be like wait come back uh and they would go to like grab him but naruto would look back just glance back as he would output his pressure and he would say just just go back to what you're doing we, we never um we never walked past you right you then kind of give him a, a maniac smile <laughs> Kind of the same smile he gave, uh, like Todoroki gave when he was fighting Deku, as they would walk past. As Sakura would be like, "Damn, Naruto, you you had you had you almost had me shit in my pants." <laughs> as pretty much uh, Naruto would be like, "Yeah, I, I do, but don't worry, don't worry. One day you'll be able to uh, be uh, used to it." As Sasuke, me and him, we were training for years. He adapted to my aura, so if I use it on him, it, you know, he would get, he would shiver, but he'd be fine. So they would walk up the stairs and they would, you know, Sasuke would be like, yeah, there's a Genjutsu on the door. They would see like the door that was supposed to go on was covered by Genjutsu. So it had been like the wrong room. It was probably some like utility room or some shit. So they would have gotten to the right room and they would have walked in. And I don't really particularly like going over this arc. So Team 7 pass. Naruto is just too smart. Sasuke is too smart as well. And Na Sakura, Sakura just passes the same way she did in canon. So pretty much what we'd be going over is uh, what would happen is Biki would announce the 10th question as Naruto would kind of be putting his head down. But the thing is, Hinata was about to get up. So I actually saw this as six months. I had like a moment in the Yin release what if where like basically Naruto grabs Hinata's arm, you know, keeping her like sat down as pretty much Naruto would kind of do the same thing as you tell her, you know, don't worry your pass as you know she, like naruto's literally holding her arm so like hinata's face will go completely red as she, she would kind of like pass out on the chair itself like she couldn't get up even if she wanted to i don't know hinata'd be kind of shy but pretty much naruto would be like damn i didn't know i didn't know my cold touch actually caused her to get hyperthermia and pass out and i need to work on that you know i didn't actually mean to that's my bad so what happened is he would put her like put his hand on her giving her more of like a warm aura basically thinking like he thinks like he's he's kind of um what's the word he's kind of um 
I can't think, but it's like basically he doesn't actually understand what's going on. So he assumed like he gave her hypothermia, so he's like warming her up with his fire, the healing flames. That's pretty much she like wake up and then she'd realize what happened and then she'd like pass out again. And Naruto would just like shake his head. <laughs> He'd be like, why do I keep doing this? <laughs> my flames and my eyes too. <laughs> She's like, why? Why my? Why do I live just to suffer? As pretty much, you know, Hinata would wake up on her own, and Ibiki would announce that the tenth question is actually not a thing, and they all pass. As Naruto would look towards Hinata, see, I told you, Hinata. You know, if you, if it, if it weren't for me, who knows what would happen? Who knows? What, who knows? As Hinata would be like, you know, would say, uh, thank you, Naruto. Uh, she would kind of do her whole shy voice. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. Neither Izukage, neither can Ro, no one can, okay? It's kind of so hard to do that, unless you're, like, the, the voice actor. I remember the voice actor actually, like, did the outros for Anime Sage's videos, I think, or Anime X's. I don't know which one, but, like, those outros are pretty good. She's like, hey, she would say her name, and then she would say I'm the, act the voice actor for Rukia Kuchiki and uh, Hinata Hyuga. It was really cool because like you know never mind but pretty much uh, this second stage would start as your know, uncle would kick through the window telling everyone to go to training ground 44 as they would start the second stage as uncle would pretty much you know tell everyone to sign the waiver forms just in case they die and all and also would be kind of not paying attention he'd be looking on at the trees because he's been here his whole childhood he memorizes the whole damn place so naruto remembers the shortcut where he can go through kind of going through the middle but then going like right back on the outskirts around so pretty much Orochimaru would know Naruto's knowledge in a sense, but he would know that shortcut as well. So this is how they're going to be encountering. So Naruto and his team would be given the Earth Scroll, as they would need to find someone with the Heaven Scroll. So what would happen is they, they you know, Anko would say start as also after the whole, uh, you know, the interaction with Anko and Naruto, as Anko would still throw the kunai at him, and you know he'd still dodge and all. And uh, pretty much, yeah, it'd kind of be like that. So after Naruto and his team would, you know, run in, uh, they would kind of uh, run for like a few minutes before a huge snake, like, would come behind them as Naruto would say, I got this, as he would, uh, you know, kind of activate his ice quirk, as he would make a sword, as he would say, all right, it's my first time doing this. Hopefully this works, hopefully this works, as, you know, the sink is getting real close, as he would raise his blade with two of his hands up in the air, as then he would slice down, and a huge slice of ice would just go right through the snake, and it would carry on until, like, mountains away. And you would see the mountains shattering and turning into ice from further away, as Naruto would be like, yes, I did it, I did it. As he would, um, pretty much, um, melt the sword away as they would continue running through now what would happen is that same uh female gra grass ninja would uh land on the you know the tree uh, like a tree away from them as naruto would then sense the killer intent from them and sense the chakra of us he would say sasuke this one's serious as he would look towards sakura saying sakura whatever you learned over this two weeks you gotta use that now this one's um strong as not, uh, Sakura would be like, alright, alright, I got you. So pretty much the grass ninja lady would come down and start to exert her, um, you know, killer intent on them. As Sasuke would start shivering, like, this is this literally scared the shit out of them. As what happened is Naruto would pat his shoulder as he would appear in front of them, saying, you're gonna let this killer intent even waver you? Remember Itachi's? This is nothing compared to Itachi. As Naruto's pretty much aura would protect Sasuke from the killer intent, like the flamey aura. And this would also do the same to Sakura, as Naruto would say, just don't focus on that, we need to beat this guy's ass. Like, this guy got nothing on us. As Sakura would be like, yeah. And so you know, they'd all get motivated by it, and Sakura would then go through a few hand signs, as she would disappear into leaves, as the Genjutsu would start to enact. Now, Orochimaru, Orochimaru would, you know, kind of be amused in this, and he would see what the girl has to offer. As what would happen is, she would be then wrapped, uh, wrapped into, like, by tree branches as then what would happen is all the terrain would start to you know cripple away and turn and like, you know cremate it not cremate away but decay away as she'd be in more of a lava terrain as so what would happen is that same tree branch that was locking her in was pretty much locking her in and pouring like bringing her to the core of like a 
a volcano. What would happen? She'd be going. He'd be going down, or Orochimaru would be going down, and he'd feel the burning effects. And as his skin would start to uh, burn off, and his, she would start to go through some mental pain as the Genjutsu would continue to work. But what happened? He'd say, "This pathetic Genju doesn't work on me." As he would start to exert some of his, uh, you know killer intense and kind of regurgitate himself as well as when he'd get back into the real world apparently that genjutsu actually was physical like he actually got burn marks from the genjutsu itself as no one told be like oh, damn soccer you actually show this you aren't useless good job good job as you know he would pat her head as you know he would you know walk um in front of her as you know he would start to ignite his blue flames and his ice as Pretty much what happened is he would just you know use his flames as he would then kind of uh make a tornado or a vortex of flames as he would ask uh, Sasuke you know use your most powerful fire all right as you know you know Sasuke would be like all right all right all right as Sasuke would run through a few hand signs and as he would go through the last hand signs using the same jutsu Madara used on the Lions Force in the Fourth Great Ninja War he would use the fire style majestic destroyer flame. And pretty much a huge, like a mountain size of flames would come out of Sasuke's mouth. And Naruto's flames supporting that would create a huge vortex. Like pretty much Shuruzen from the Hokage's office can see these flames. It'd be blue and it'd be, it'd be quite powerful. As he'd be like, oh my god. Gee, Lord, Sage of Six Paths. It'd kind of be like, you know how they say like Jesus Christ about Sage of Six Paths. As we switch back to um, Naruto. So when the smokes would be revealed, the original would be burning away. He's ah, 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 he'd be screaming in pain as he would then disintegrate into like ash. As pretty much just like uh, pretty much that ash would disappear into snakes. As what would happen is the pouch she had would still be there. Naruto would then uh, you know run up the trees with you know learning uh, the uh, the like the tree walking and water walking obviously from the land of the waves. I, I don't know why <laughs> I think Zether went over this or if he didn't learn it the land of the waves he learned it in the years training with Sasuke. So pretty much Naruto would grab the pouch. He would say you know bingo look what we found here as he would show the the scroll. He would say look it's the scroll like the the heaven scroll as you know you know they would start cheering they would go in for a group hug. You know, <laughs> they would literally celebrate as they would head over to the tower. Now, with a few disturbances like Team Dosu, and they would slap them across the whole forest and shit. <laughs> you know, let's just say one shotting. I really like one shotting the characters in this. What if? This is really like this is really like what I like about doing features on Zeta. He doesn't mind if you one shot someone. He'd probably be like, "Good shit, Archimedes eyes and good shit." You know, you're you're taken after me. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but he would probably probably say something like that so pretty much what would happen is they would get over to the tower and uh, yeah they um they would check in and they would be the first to even get there even before team gara which would be quite a feat on its own so they would check in and pretty much i'm just gonna skip past the days of them recuperating all the other teammates checking in and we'll go over to the second part of the um tune in exams i kind of had a huge pause there for a second so pretty much uh this team placements like the fighting uh placements would be the same the versus placement it would be naruto versus kiva sasuke versus yoroi hinata versus neji saka versus ino and pretty much yeah it would be kind of different but we'll go over to the naruto versus kiba fight now kiba jumped on he'd be so excited he'd be like yes i got the dead last i'm gonna win this and, you know, pretty much what would happen is, you know, he, after this, he'd be like, oh, maybe if I win this, I'll be able to get Hinata's attention. As for some reason, over the years, he gained quite an infatuation with Hinata. Uh, I don't know how, I don't know why, but I saw this in, like, Izukage's What If, and I was like, I, I bet I might, I might have to implicate that. But basically... You know, he, you know he, he says, oh, Kamaru, I don't even need you. I can fight this guy on my own. He'd, he'd be quite arrogant in that time. So pretty much what would happen is Naruto would be like, the arrogance, your arrogance, you don't even have a lot of power. So the arrogance, your arrogance will be your downfall. As pretty much, you know, <laughs> Kiba would be like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm stronger than you. I don't, I don't need to take this from you. As pretty much what would happen is the Proctor would call the match, knowing that Naruto is easily probably going to win this. But, you know, he, he, he has to keep his personal bias out of this. And everyone would be placing their bets on Naruto, placing $100, $200, maybe even $1,000. And let's just say Naruto might make some money from that. 
so then Naruto's gonna be gonna be making more money after that like in the finale like fighting Gara or something like that or Neji so pretty much what would happen is um the fight would start Kiba would be like fang over fang as Naruto would be like weak pathetic as he would like literally reach in the attack as Kiba would be like what how is he doing this as he would use the ice as his armor so he wouldn't get hurt as he would grab Kiba's face he would palm face him and throw him across the arena completely out of the arena sending him across the whole forest itself as Naruto would be declared the winner because Kiba kind of number one got out of like got out of the zone and got knocked out so Naruto would be declared the winner as Kiba would say, uh, Kiba, whatever, like, wherever he is, be like, oh, he'd be groaning and shit, be like, damn, Naruto just too, too powerful. As pretty much what would happen is, um, after the fight, we'll go over to Sasuke versus Yoroi. Naruto would dab him up, he'd say, you know, good luck, good luck, brother. As he would say, thank you, thank you. As, you know, he would go down, and it'd be Yoroi. Yoroi would start talking shit about how he can pretty much absorb his chakra, and Nar <laughs> Sasuke would be like, yeah, that's a pretty strong ability, but you have to you have to be the same speed or even faster than me to even use that ability. As once the Proctor would say start, Sasuke would disappear. As he would use his 3 2 Sharing Gun to appear behind Yoroi, grab him by the back of the head and throw him he would start flipping and shit into the wall as sasuke would then start you know appear right in front of him start punching him almost like people like the heroes can see this in slow mo he's like punching him like 10 times on each side he's like p beating the shit out of him as sasuke would then grab him by the face sending him flying as a clone would appear where like um your is appearing and he would then down like kick him towards up in the air as two clones would then appear by Yoroi as then they, they would both like uh, kick him down back to the ground as Sasuke would be in front of him as he would gut punch him as Yoroi would like spit out blood as he'd be sent into the wall knocked out so Sasuke would then be declared the winner as you know I'm just gonna speed through the rest of the fights Eno would then get put in Genjutsu she, nothing she, she weak father I mean Sakura is just less water. That's pretty much it. And pretty much the one month time skip. So what will be happening is um, <laughs> like Kakashi would train, you know, uh, Sasuke while Naruto would meet up with Jiraiya. Now when pretty much we'll go to the day where like Naruto meets Jiraiya. Naruto would be walking through until he would pass the, uh, the, the hot springs as he would have refused Kakashi's trainer like uh, Ibi, uh Ebi, ebisu so he would have been looking you know walking around you know kind of chilling you know getting his mind off of things as he would have seen a like he would have went into the bath so probably you know take a bath you know kind of calm himself as pretty much what happened is he would see this man um with long white hair pretty much peeking between the walls of the male and female like hot springs as naruto would walk up saying uh enjoying the view there as the man would get surprised and like kind of fall back in the water as he would have got up saying you're interrupting my research as naruto would get a good look at him and says oh oh you must be jiraiya you must be getting more research for that um make out paradise tech the make out tactics or make out paradise as jiraiya would rub his head say make out tactics but at least you know who i am i'll give you points for that as naruto would say well i was wondering since you are the signing uh could you possibly train me? As Jiraiya would say, oh, okay, what's your name, kid? As Naruto would say, oh, it's uh, Naruto Uzumaki. As Jiraiya would recognize him, and he would say, oh, you know, in his head, he'd be like, oh, the, this this is the, you know, child prophecy. I, you know, I've heard of the, pro uh, yeah, the child of the prophecy. As, you know, he would remember stories from the bingo book. He saw Naruto in the name and Sasuke's name, and they pretty much beat up, you know, Zabuza, or at least did great damage to Zabuza, and they beat pretty much s rank um assassin haku and you know they were pretty much put in the bingo book dead or alive by the mist village so yeah also the stone villagians they recognize naruto as his son minato's son they just for some reason recognized him even though he has different hair color no whisker marks but the uzumaki that really didn't really pique their interest since they did a few centuries like a few years ago they did destroy the uzumaki so seeing someone like an uzumaki yeah they definitely put a bounty on him sasuke sasuke gotta put on a bounty on him because his He's the brother of Itachi, and you know, they kind of want to do some damage to Itachi by killing his brother, obviously. So, yeah. So, Jiraiya would then say, Alright, alright, kid. Um, let's go then. 
as pretty much what would happen is you know Jiraiya would take Naruto to a training ground and he would say um so would you like to learn the summoning as Naruto would say summoning um really as Naruto would say you know I'm um, sorry Jiraiya would say yeah it's pretty useful in battle as you know you know they can help you you can do combination jutsus I assume you have fire right so some of the toads they have oil so you can enhance your fire by you know using your fire on their oil because you know becoming natural fire and who knows and if I were to train you longer, I could take you there and you can learn natural fire. So like people with like techniques where they can absorb, you know, ninjutsu, they won't be able to absorb that. As Naruto would be like, oh, that's pretty cool. So you're saying my fire be can become more powerful? As Jirai would say, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. As pretty much what would happen is, is uh, he would, you know, kind of go through the, soul, the whole uh, summoning thing. And where he would pretty much practice how to summon Gamma Bunsa. And he would meet, he would meet Kurama. Where this time he would, you know, where he'd be in the whole, like, uh, area. Like, where he's, uh, you know, looking at Kurama. He would look at him saying, look, so... I know I can easily beat you, but how about this? If you think about it logically, so pretty much, I'll, let's think about this logically. All right, Kurama, he would restate. So he wouldn't actually say Kurama. That's him. He would say like, let's think about this QB. So you don't like this cage, right? And I want more power. So you, you like, you like seeing my battles. You like seeing interested and all. I can see that look in your eyes, the, the look of battle, the wanting to see everything and be entertained. So think about this. If I manage to open your gates and I manage to set you free, you'll be able to do me a favor and give me your power and uh, pick, you know, you like my offer, right? Capiche? As uh, Kurama would grumble, say, all right, all right. If you manage some way to unlock my gate, I'll be able to give you as much power as you would like, kid. As you know, Kurama would start being kind of, stop being kind of like a sundry right here. As Naruto would be like, good. No, let's start here. Like, can you leak me some chakra? You know, I know I have a lot of chakra, but basically, Rochim owes five prong seal. That's that. Wait, actually, that never happened. Fuck. <laughs> but basically, he would say, I don't really have uh, much chakra. I kind of used it all. And, um, you know, kind of trying to summon you, summon Gamma Boons on multiple times. So if you don't mind leaking me some, that'd be great. As, you know, this would kind of be like a lie that Naruto makes so he can kind of feel the chakra. So pretty much what would happen is Naruto would uh, would receive some chakra, probably like one tail's worth. As, you know, he then, you know, kind of bite his thumb before saying summon a jutsu. As he would summon Gamma Bunsa. And what would happen is Naruto would say, oh, as like Jiraiya, you know, Gamma would say like, you know, why did you summon me, Jiraiya? As a Jiraiya, you know, Jiraiya wouldn't be there. He'd be still like peeping on girls. As Naruto would say, Jiraiya's in here. Uh, so I'm his student and I was, you know, taught how to summon you. I even summoned the contract. So I'm just going to say this, um, you know, Chief Toad. How about, you know, you give me your test and we'll get over this. As Gamma would kind of smoke his pipe and says, oh, so you think you can handle my test? Oh, that's very interesting as pretty much say if kid if you can stay on my back for the rest of the day you can i'll put you as my summoning contract and naruto will be like all right all right well, let's go then as pretty much gamma would start jumping around and naruto naruto would uh pretty much stay on on like literally the whole time we're putting chakra into his feet pretty much staying gone and with help with some of Kurama's chakra still in the system he'd be able to easily do it so after like two hours Gamabutsu would give up but like, all right all right kid so I'll I'll let you become my summoning like I'll like sign the contract and you'll have to pay me back by um drinking some sake with me Naruto would say only sake I had that so many times as pretty much you know Gamabutsu would be like all right how about um after the cheering exams, you know, uh, reverse summon yourself and um, we should get, drink some sake. But for now, you should probably train with my son, my two sons. If you can try to summon them, they can help you with any some of your techniques. So Prince Naruto will be like, all right, all right. Uh, see you, see you, um, Chief Toad. As Chief Toad would de-summon himself. As um, pretty much Jiraiya would see that Naruto pretty much summoned Gamabunsa and pretty much passed the test. As Jiraiya would say, so uh, how did it go? And pretty much Naruto would say it was pretty cool. I, you know, learning the this whole uh, technique and all is very useful. As Jiraiya would say, all right, so you've done this in all in one day. I'm very proud, and you don't seem tired, right? Naruto would shake his head, nah, not really. So Jiraiya would say, you know that technique your teammate uses is the Chidori, right? 
as Naruto would say, yeah, 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 I remember that. You, you're going to teach me something like that or something? As Naruto would say, kind of. It's just like, you know, the fourth Hokage made this technique. As Naruto would start getting excited, the fourth Hokage, you're telling me I can learn something as powerful as that of the fourth Hokage? Okay, okay, let's start right now. As Naruto would say, okay, slow down. Let's slow down, sport. Uh, let me explain first. As he would start to explain this, uh, the Rasengan, and pretty much what would happen is this one month, Naruto would learn the Rasengan, being able to infuse his ice into it, since his ice is in like a Kekigenkai, nor is his fire, so it's just kind of a um, soul ability in a sense, so he'd be able to infuse it without much trouble. And pretty much Jirai would be quite surprised at this, and Naruto only learning this about in one week, and um... Pretty much Jiraiya would start to, it would take Naruto to Mount Miyaboku, not to learn Sage Mode, but to learn more Fire Style. And pretty much what the Toads will see is Naruto's Fire is like natural, it's it's not natural natural, but like it's from the depths of his soul, it isn't like chakra based. So what happens is they would start to teach uh, Naruto some of their like fire techniques, their natural Toad fire techniques. And they, you know, he started training with the toads. And pretty much if if they summon, like if he summoned one of Gamma Bunta's kids, they can help him with Genjutsu. They can enhance his chakra. They can do combination attack. They can spit oil, anything like that. And, you know, it'd be great. So, like, Naruto would gain a bond with, like, uh, Gamma Kichi. And soon enough, he'll probably summon him when he's, like, older and all big and shit. As Naruto would kind of say goodbye to the whole Mount Miyoboku world. And he would still have that drink with you know, Gamma Boonta, even though he's like 16, it's, it's, it's Naruto, you know, we gotta get over that, so pretty much what happened, oh, by the way, guys, I've realized this, I'm gonna have, you know, this part end, uh, basically, um, like, how the Akatsuki attack, and I'll do, like, a whole epilogue at the end, okay, so that seems pretty good, so pretty much what would happen is, um, you know, after the whole training arc, Sasuke and Naruto, well, they would meet up of, like 30 minutes before. They'd be like, yo. And Nar you know, Naruto will see the drip on Sasuke. You have the whole desert cloak. He'd be like, yo, I like this new you. Very nice. And, you know, do you guys saw that video where, like, these two, like, rich guys and people, like, really do, like, how anime fans meet? And they'd be like, you know, you're looking good. You know, you look, Sasuke would be like, you're looking good too. And Naruto would have, like, that sage, like, the sage cloak as well with his Todoroki outfit. That shit would just go fire it would be unbelievably fire as you know they're they, you know you know kind of a uh, you know encouraging each other you know kind of hyping each other up getting ready for the tuning stamps and naruto would be like what you learn and sasuke would be like what you learn no 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 you first no you first and Prince sasuke would be all right, all right i'll tell you i'll tell you so you know that story jutsu i learned right so i started just mastering it doing more than once and soon soon i'm gonna be able to manifest it instead of a, a dragon as Naruto would be like a dragon? Yeah, yeah, and Sasuke would explain to it. If the dragon deems you evil or evil intent, it'll destroy you. It's like, but if it doesn't, then it, it won't. So I kind of found this on TikTok, like a theory. Like pretty much why the Kirin didn't work on Itachi and are like why Itachi survived. And pretty much the theory was that Kirin deemed Sasuke, like deemed Itachi like a good in the in his heart and he didn't kill him so that's why uh sasuke's carrying didn't work that's like my theory and i and i think it's a pretty good theory as naruto would be like that seems pretty cool so that means your technique will never work on me so now sasuke would be like nah that ice heart that that dragon will see that and be like, eat that up whoa <laughs> i didn't mean that like that but basically naruto would say well here i'll show you what i learned as he would like move his like raise his hand up as he would form a ice rasengan before and you know dispel it before then forming a fire rasengan as sasuke would be like so what does it do as naruto would say when i hit someone it basically internally destroys their organs like for example the ice one it completely defrost like frost all of their you know organs and set out of ice basically killing them so this is like you know this is not a like a thing i use in sparring while pretty much what would happen is the fire wrestling gun would pretty much be only used for um and pretty much burning someone's organs so pretty much what would happen is um they would you know, head over to the um Harina. So pretty much once they would get there, they would, you know, they would kind of chill, kind of with everyone. They'd be standing in the middle as the Proctor would start to explain what's going on. Now, from a distance, they would see a, a group of mat, like with black and red cloaks, like black cloaks with red clouds on them would be seen. And pretty much, um, 
And they would say we need to get rid of Naruto Uzumaki. I mean, <laughs> since they see his latent potential, and they would see Sasuke's potential, as his eyes would have weirdly evolved pretty fast, almost into that of a Mangekyo. As you know, they would get ready to attack, take the Nine Tails, and leave. So what happened is, pretty much what Dry would also kind of be there watching. As what would happen is, I keep saying what would happen, but basically the Proctor starts to explain the placements. It'd be Naruto versus Neji, Sasuke versus Gara, Sakura versus Dosu, which isn't here, so Sakura would automatically get a win. Shikamaru versus Tamari, Shino versus Kankuro, and I think I got everyone. I I'm out of breath at this point. I've been kind of being energetic in this whole video, and hopefully that works. So, uh, pretty much uh, what would happen is uh, the fight between Naruto versus Neji would start. Um, and pretty much Neji would say, your <laughs> destiny will basically claim me as the winner between our fight. This fight is not that of ideal, uh, that, not, that not of just, you know, forces and jutsu, is that of ideals. As it would explain to him, he can see that look in his eyes, that annoyance, and pretty much... Um, you know, seeing, uh, I guess, uh, Naruto's look at him. He's a Naruto's angry at what, um, you know, Neji tried to do at Hinata. Since Naruto has a brotherly bond with Hinata. And pretty much, you know, seeing Neji do that to Hinata, it just didn't feel like family. Like, Dom would be proud of Naruto for what he's about to do. And, you know, like, yeah. So, pretty much what would happen next is, um, Naruto would, you know, just, would tell, you know, Neji, let's get to the point. As you you charge up his Rasengan, as Dry from the, the, the stands would be like, damn, Naruto really mad. He's about to he's about to frost this guy's organs into like nothing. As pretty much what would happen is he would appear behind uh, you know Neji as he would slam his Rasengan into his stomach, and uh, pretty much what would happen is um, you know he would kind of frost Neji's organs into that of ice. As what happens, Neji he would start spazzing on the floor. As <laughs> the doctor would be like, you would call the match really quick. As the nurses start running up into the field, as Naruto would be like, no, no, I got this. As he would tap, he would like press, uh, he would press on Neji. He would say, why should I kill you right now? How would, how do you think Kinata felt? I want you to apologize right now. I want you to apologize to Kinata right now. As pretty much, you know, he would say, all right, all right, all right. As pretty much, he would, you know, kind of apologize from where he was. And pretty much what would happen is he would, Naruto would heal uh, his internal organs as pretty much he would just have a few bruises and marks and stuff like that. And he would be taken away by the nurses, and, or not the nurses, but the doctors that were pretty much um, hired for the tune-in exams. So pretty much what would happen is after that, we'll just fast forward all the way to the Sasuke versus Gara fight. Sasuke would have, you know, Gara completely pressed. As what would happen is the Katsuki, they would start their attack exactly when the Gara would start to partially transform. So what would happen is Kiruzen, uh, like pretty much would get jumped by Orochimaru, while all the uh, Katsuki members would do that as well. So pretty much what would happen is Naruto would see this and he would jump down into the field and he would help Sasuke up. And pretty much like he would have got sent flying by the the uh, the tremor caused by you know uh, Gara transforming. As Naruto and Sasuke would, they would you know uh, get into their stances and start to fight. As pretty much what would happen is you know, Gara would you know kind of transform into that of the full tail beast. Shikaku Shikaku would kind of take over. As you know he would start to use his wind style air bullets. As Naruto would then you know pretty much muster all of his strength to make a iceberg like a huge iceberg as he would make an iceberg the size of that of a huge mountain like that of maybe mount everest as this would like this wouldn't really hurt this completely like destroy the stand it would go like vertically up so nobody would really be hurt by this attack so what would happen is shikaku would then be freeze as sasuke would then say use um try your best to form that technique you know we kind of need this like right now i'm kind of forcing sasuke to use his curing so Sasuke would take a few deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. As he would then put the uh, he would form the Chidori as he would put it in the air. As a few seconds later, the Kirin would start to form as he would come down and look into Shikaku as he would see evil intent since he is a tail beast. They all have hatred. So he would then come down as he would like pretty much hit, he would bite on uh, Shikaku's head and it would, you know, he would, there would be a huge explosion of lightning as once the, um, smoke would then be cleared uh shikaku would then be uh, seen you know disappearing as the smoke would 
be coming from him de you know, de-summoning as Garo then be seen there like really injured but his high speed factor would kick in as Naruto would walk up to him talking about Jutsu not that bad but like you know he, he you know he'd say like we're the same you know we're both neglected in our childhood and you know they'd be like yay that's Pog and they'd be friends so pretty much what would happen next is Naruto, Gara, and Sasuke, you know, Naruto, Kid, and Gara, they would go up and they would break the barrier as they would start to fight Hashirama, Tobirama, on all the Akatsuki members. Like, pretty much Naruto, Sasuke sees Itachi, like, he's getting ready to throw some hands, left punch, right, and I'm just kidding. Well, basically what would happen is Sasuke, he would try that Kirin technique again, he's very low on chakra, but due to, or he was very, very low on chakra, but Naruto uses healing flames and pretty much helps Sasuke get back to his usual uh, chakra level. As what would happen is Sasuke would then uh, use his Kirin, and he would pretty much, you know, the huge lightning dragon would appear. As what would happen is pretty much uh, the Praetor Path would try to absorb it. What would happen is Naruto would then get a huge fire vortex and he would kind of burn up all of the six, the, uh, the six path to pain except the Diva Path. Pretty much burning everyone and the Praetor Path wouldn't have enough time to focus on two Jutsus to absorb and lightning, the Kirin would come down. As pretty much anyone who would be left, it would be it would kind of be like uh, Nagato the you know, obito and itachi who would use his susano you know pretty much kakuzu kakuzu ain't surviving that nor is hidan nor is sasori nor is datara and pretty much what happens it would kind of since the lightning jutsu nullifies him and kind of hits him at the same time he'd die for that so no c0 explosion is going to happen and pretty much what would happen is uh you know he would you know he would like tried his best to since he they broke the barrier he would run up to you know um Jiraiya and he'd say i need something as he would, Sasuke and Hughes would be covering him. As you know, he'd be saying, I need to scroll. I need to unseal the nine tails. You know, me and him have kind of become befriended. And I kind of need something right now. And he can't really give that to me if the gates close. As the dryer would then quickly summon the, uh, the toad. As pretty much the toad would jump in his mouth. And it would be just as disgusting as ever. But I need to save the whole village. So what would happen is naruto would then go into his inner mind where time doesn't flow properly so there'd be distorted time which would give him enough time as naruto would walk up to him and pretty much he would still like pretty much due to him going to open the seal and all he would meet like minato and kashina he would have the wholesome moment as uh they would wish him good luck on bringing inner peace and they would tell him you know they sometimes he needs to let go of like his anger towards heroes and all as they would pat his head and um pretty much you know kushino would say you know say you know he kind of acts like a uzumaki in the namikaze when it comes to his humorous and his uh, outburst of like anger at some point not anger but like you know comical anger in a sense you know kind of how kushina does as what would happen is naruto then fist bump with kurama befriending him as what happened is he would start to gain that of a kcm2 now what would happen is naruto anytime naruto wants to use fire or ice the kcm would turn into that blue or red so he would go back to his usual red when he's using fire or sometimes he can use it at the same time which would kind of become like a mixed blue and red or like just blue like half blue and half red so what happened naruto would suddenly gain a huge power boost and nakatsuki would start to look towards him and pretty much what happened is uh, itachi would then try to use a matarasu on him as naruto you know completely dodging the technique he would then summon his fox form as what would happen is um you know he would charge a biju dama now pretty much you know he taught you would try to reflect this with his yadimir that would kind of work and he would deflect the ability and uh pretty much what happened next is uh obito would go to basically kind of face through the uh the nine tails cloak and pretty much stab naruto through the heart kind of killing him temporarily and pretty much Sasuke seeing this, he would start to go like he'd be mad. Like he, what would happen is he would, you know, get his Mangekyo ability as he would be, you know, crying blood itself. As what would happen is Obito would kind of be off guard from like killing Naruto, and he would pretty much burn Ob Obito to death uh, using the Amaterasu. And pretty much Naruto would like Sasuke would walk up to Naruto, and for some reason he seemed to be just fine. Now, if you guys are wondering what the fuck even happened i'm like you, i'm going so fast that you don't even know what's happening pretty much what would happen is naruto uh would be either would save by would be saved by kurama and then pretty much meet the sage of six paths getting his whole sun seal and moon seal thing and not moon seal forgive me i meant to say sun seal and he would become quite you know get, you know massively powerful getting that of the six path sage mode as what would happen is he would see sasuke and she pretty much you know 
kind of um they would join together like kind of not join together but like they would do like a combination attack so what happened is they would um their sasuke would charge up his curing as naruto would then infuse his fire and his ice into it becoming that of like an ice dragon that shoots fire from its mouth and pretty much kirin would then be reinforced with a matsurasu from sasuke and let's just say after the kirin would then go like go down naruto would then become go into his kcm2 like a Kurama mode as then he would try to charge up a Biju Dama as both the Kirin and the Biju Dama would hit the like Nagato and Itachi they would be murked now all that'd be left is their burnt their crisp bodies and uh, not cursed bodies but like dead bodies as it would have bruises all over them and yeah uh, after this all the Ikatsuki would be defeated as pretty much what would happen is at the end Naruto would be seen um kind of uh having a moment with he was in not not moments moments if you don't even think that's us but like pretty much he would uh kind of uh kind of uh, burn uh, bury the hatchet in a sense and you know they would they would kind of be chill before he would go over to sasuke and what had happened there'd be a scroll in itachi's uh cloak now when he would open it he'd pretty much see like Every, the whole secrets about the clan because itachi would predict that sasuke was to kill him and he just put that just in case and pretty much sasuke would know that their next target would be donzo what would happen next is they would kill donzo and sasuke would get his ems and pretty much he and then he did his whole like adult version form with the runner sharon gun and everything like that and uh pretty much yeah that'll be the end of this what if now pretty much uh, you guys can choose whatever naruto the ship and stuff like that and uh yeah you guys can choose this ending unless leather makes a clip after this explaining how the story ends but without further ado guys that'll be the end of this part of what if naruto had half caught half hot half cold i can't believe i butchered that but without further ado guys have a good day